Hi, my name is Steve Brostowitz, a teacher with Transitional Kindergarten, Kindergarten, and First Grade. And today I'm going to show you some techniques to teach your kids how to count by tens, fives, and twos. Well, generally speaking, after kids learn to count by ones, the first thing you'll introduce is tens. Even though that's a bigger number, it's actually easier for the kids, because if you look at a hundred chart, as so, and I like to have kids have their own dry erase hundred chart in front of them, and notice this is made just by stuffing a sheet protector with a printed hundred chart. Counting by tens is basically like counting by ones, but you just add a zero on it. And kids can easily see that pattern on your hundreds chart in front of the room or the one that you put in their hands. Another thing we noticed is when we let kids play, it's not always what they think. They might be playing, but we're taking observations on their areas of strength and areas of interest because then we're going to use that to our advantage. And one thing we noticed is kids love to take Unifix cubes and just make them go all the way across the table and all the way across the room and the carpet and count how many there are. Well, if they like to do that on their own as playtime, we're going to trick them into learning to count by tens when it's our turn. So we'll take the Unifix cubes and we say, today, boys and girls, you're going to lay the, the cubes across the carpet like you did the other day. But instead of going by ones, we are going to go by 10 rods, and then each kid will have to make their own 10 rod, and then the kids will string them together, and now when we count the long string of 10 rods across the carpet, instead of counting the cubes by ones, they're going to count by tens, and we'll get to that answer that much faster. Oh, why is it good to count by tens? And the kids will realize if you can do that, you can get your counting done a whole lot quicker. It's more efficient. It makes sense in that case. When you go to count by fives, again, you can use the cubes or the hundreds chart in a similar manner to what you did with tens. But a game I like to play is you have the run along, like basketball players do when they're warming up. They go and they high five all their friends. Only you're going to count as each child gets their high five. So it's five, 10, 15, 20 as you run down the row of students. Once you model it for the children, then each child can take a turn getting to do that, and the kids get lots of repetition. And of course, the kids will be sitting there with their quiet signals up because they want to have a turn to run up and down the row, counting by fives as they slap fives with each of their friends. When it comes to counting by twos, that proves to be the most difficult for most kids. So what I like to do is give them an incentive. We play a game called, if you can count it, you can keep it. And I bring my box of stickers. In this case, you'll notice here are some butterfly stickers. And, oh, I'm sorry, butterflies, snails, and bees. And if they can count these by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, however high they get, that's how many stickers they can keep. And they also get to pick what stickers they're going to count, which gives them that extra incentive. So I like to bring lots of different types of stickers. That is a game that'll get their interest. We'll also go outside if you have steps in your school and we'll take chalk and we'll write the numbers on the steps. And it's always good practice for the kids as their feet are racing the numbers while they're walking over them to rewrite them in. It's good shoulder and fine motor development as they're growing up. Now, are we going to go by ones? No, today we're going to go over the steps by twos. And the little kids love taking those big steps. Look at I can take two steps at a time. And of course, they're counting by twos as they do that. Two, four, six, eight. Now, if you want those numbers to last a little longer, instead of using regular chalk, what you're going to want to use is some of the sidewalk paint. Now, it's not permanent, semi-permanent, but if it's an activity you plan on doing over and over again, go with that. Otherwise, you're going to have to keep rewriting those numbers. This has been Steve Brostwitz telling you a couple activities to get your children to learn to count by tens, fives, and twos. I'll see you next time. Thank you.